Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $88,361.90. The market was closed on Friday but it was open on Thursday. On Thursday I was down $194.11 and after hours I was down another $6.52. So not much movement on Thursday. However, I did make a lot of changes to my portfolio. Usually I say, oh, there's not much to update, not much change. But in this video, I want to talk about the changes that I did make because some of my positions I got rid of and replaced them with new ones. So let's talk about my positions. For my options, I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expire April 19. My total return. I am down $15. I'm selling PayPal $63 covered calls. These expire April 19. My total return, I am down $20. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire April 19. My total return $1,200. I'm selling Verizon $42 covered calls. These expire April 19. My total return $46. I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire on 621. That's June 21st. My total return $63. I'm selling Disney. $140 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $36. And I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $2. So if you've been watching my portfolio updates, compared to my recent one, there's a lot of changes. For example, I used to be selling PayPal $60 covered calls. However, I changed it to $63 for the strike price. So I increased the strike price to $63 when it used to be $60. And this is because PayPal is already at $66.71. So it's still in the money anyways. It's 63 is below 66. So it's still below what the current price of uh, PayPal is. So I'm just doing it because I got a little greedy and I want a little bit more premium while still choosing a strike price that's below the current price because I actually kind of want these to go away. I don't know if that's a good decision in the long run or not, but for now, I don't really care to keep these too much. I'm just doing this for the extra premium. But yeah, that's something that changed recently. I increased the strike price of my PayPal covered calls from $60 to $63 to get a little bit more money in premium um, at expiration. Something else that changed Amazon. So Amazon, I was selling $185 covered calls. But as you can see here, I changed the strike price to $200. Right now, Amazon is at $179. I chose a strike price that's even further away from the current price because $185, 185 and 179 is pretty close. So I wanted to make it a little bit further far away. And so I chose a 200 strike price. Not only did I choose a higher strike price, but I also changed the expiration date. My old Amazon covered calls expired on April 19th. However, now they expire on June 21st. So I rolled out my Amazon covered call position to a higher strike price and a further expiration date because I actually want to keep my Amazon shares in my portfolio rather than have them get called away. Same situation with Disney. I was selling Disney $120 covered calls, but as you can see, I changed the strike price to $140. Right now, 
Right now, Disney is at 122. So it actually went above my strike price of 120. That's why I changed it to 140. Um, so that the strike price is now above the current price of Disney because I want to keep my Disney shares. I don't want them to get called away. I also changed the expiration date before the expiration date was April 19th. I changed it to June 21st. So I rolled out my Disney cover call position to a higher strike price and a further expiration date. Google as well. I wanted to keep my Google shares before I had Google $145 covered calls, but I increased the strike price to 170. Very similar situation to Disney. Google went above my strike price of 145 all the way to 150. In the past month, Google went from around 131 to around 150 right now. So it went from below my strike price of 145 and went above my strike price of 145. So I changed the strike price so that it's now above the current price of Google. Because I want to keep my Google shares, I rolled out my covered call position to a higher strike price and a further expiration date. That's it for my options. Let's look at my stocks. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $179.82. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $24,264.67. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.30. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $10,060.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $122.65. My average cost, $60. Total return, $18,795. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $150.77. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $829. I have 500 shares of LUV. LUV is at $29.24. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, $605. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $66.71. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,802. And lastly, I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $41.89. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $516.10. For my buying power, I have $1,343.13. So not much left in buying power at all. If we look at how my portfolio is performing year to date, so far for the year 2024, I am up $10,461.44 year to date. Hopefully, if we keep this trend up, I'll be gaining more and more money throughout the year. I'm aiming to make at least $20,000 in profit for this year. That's what I'm aiming for. And so far, it's been going well. I guess the biggest update is that a lot of the strike prices that I chose for my covered calls the share price either went above the strike price or dangerously close to it. So I increased the strike price to an even higher strike price. That way there's less chance of them getting called away at expiration. And I chose a further out expiration date of June 21st. Now, some of my covered call positions still expire on April 19th. For example, SoFi. However, the reason I did not change the strike price for my SoFi covered call is because I chose a strike price of $9 
and SoFi actually is still below $9. It's at $7.30. So because the share price of SoFi is still below the strike price that I chose, I just left it at $9. After my SoFi covered call position expires, then I'll think about what I'm going to do next. But for now, I left it the same strike price and expiration date. For these other ones expiring on April 19th, they are positions where I don't really care to keep them. So if my shares of LUV get called away, I don't mind. I'm not desperate to keep LUV in my portfolio. I just want the premium. That's the same situation for PayPal and Verizon. I'm not too desperate to keep those in my portfolio. I'm just waiting for time to pass until we reach expiration and then the shares get called away. And then I'll have more money and buying power to do other things. And that's pretty much it. Those are all the changes that I made recently to my portfolio. I hope you guys enjoyed this portfolio update. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.